Welcome to our Flexbox tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many web developers encounter. Our viewer wants to create a specific layout using Flexbox that adapts seamlessly between portrait and landscape orientations. Let's dive into the details of their challenge. Welcome back guys to another technical help question. I'll be going through the question, the answers, and hoping to help find that answer. Guys, I hope you stay crazy just a little bit like me and get through and work to the solution. Now let's get started. To achieve the desired layout using Flexbox, we will start by defining the basic structure in HTML. Here we have a section containing a header, main content, navigation, and footer. In the CSS, we will set the default layout for portrait orientation. This is done by using flex direction set to column, which stacks the elements vertically. Now, we need to handle the landscape orientation. We will use a media query to change the flex direction to row, allowing the navigation to sit on the right side of the screen. Additionally, we will set the width of the navigation to ensure it occupies the right side, while the main content takes the remaining space on the left. Finally, let's put it all together. With these styles, your layout will adapt seamlessly between portrait and landscape orientations, maintaining a clean and efficient HTML structure. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To switch from portrait to landscape layouts in Flexbox, you can set the navigation to an absolute position if a fixed height isn't possible. This allows for a flexible layout adjustment. In your CSS, Define the section as a flex container with a column direction. Then, use a media query to change the layout when the orientation is landscape. Make sure to set widths for header, footer, and main content to fit within the landscape layout while ensuring the navigation takes up the remaining space. And that's it guys. We've worked through, gone through your question, hopefully found that solution you're looking for. If we did, please hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help. I hope you have a good one. Cheers.